You say you want a better bench press, but there's a few things you really just got to stop doing, like right away. <laughs> T is me, CTV, Chris the Vigilante. Before I get into this video, I want to thank you for joining me, first of all. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for being, thank you for watching my videos. I, I tell you, this YouTube thing can get kind of stressful every now and then, especially when you, you aren't really where you want to be, but I'd rather just keep trying and keep having to start over. You know what I'm saying? So a little bit of motivation for y'all. But don't forget to like this video. Hit that notification button too. Make sure you, you update it on all the latest videos and all the latest activity going on with this channel. As a competitive powerlifter, people think that I bench like eight, 900 pounds, which is not true. I, I don't even think I wanna bench press that much weight. If I, if I can bench press that much weight, then I'd probably just need to leave this earth. There's probably not much else for me to learn, but at any rate, they always say, well, hey, man, I want to bench press like you. I want to I want to get a bigger bench press like you. And I see them doing so many things wrong. Well, I, I don't want to say wrong. I don't want to be negative about it. But I, some of the things that you do is not going to help you get a stronger bench press. Bench pressing is really actually a full body exercise. You really need your entire body to be engaged when you when you benching. I don't think a lot of guys understand that. I think we we see a lot of things on on the internet and on social media. We be like, hey, I want to try that. And you always, it's always weird that the people that they see trying these things are already in great shape. So we figure, and I'm guilty of it too. I I, I know I did it. I've done it myself. So we'll be like, oh, hey, is that how you look like that? Okay, well I'll work out like him then, and that's that's really not the way you want to do things. If your goal is to get a bigger bench press then there's three things that I really need you to stop doing. And here's the first. Okay, so the, the first mistake a lot of guys make is when they're going for a max lift, the first thing they do is when when, it, when using a spotter what they do a lot of is instead of stabilizing the weight, they just take the hand off from the partner and just bring the weight straight down and you'll see that you'll see that in this video what one of the things you want to do is you want to stabilize that weight first you want to make sure your lats tight you want to make sure your, your feet are driven into the floor you want to make sure your butt tight and your butt is pressed down into that bench okay so taking the hand off right away is just really just going it's it's a sign whenever I see guys do that it's a, it's a sign to me that you're not stable, your back is not stable, your legs aren't stable, your, like your core is not stable, like nothing's stable. So really, you just like, your shoulders are pretty much handling a whole lot of weight for this, this max effort lift, and it's really not gonna work out well. So problem number one, bad setup. Problem number two, like I said earlier in this video, a lot of times we see a lot of stuff on the internet, we see people doing stuff on social media, and that person is usually already in <clears throat> the best shape. They're they already the best version of themselves, so we think, hey, I wanna look like that guy, so I'll do what that guy's doing. Listen, I want you gentlemen and ladies, if you're doing it, stop bench pressing with your feet in the air. Like, that, that looks oh so cool to do, where you can bench press with your feet crossed and your feet in the air, but at the end of the day, in order to build a big, strong, heavy bench, that's not gonna work. It's like I said earlier in this video, once again, you need leg drive to have a good bench. Your butt needs to be on the bench. Your back needs to be stabilized. I made a video some months ago talking about the different back exercises you can use to help build a bigger bench press because you actually need a strong back to help you handle loads of weight despite what you may have heard. So, problem number two, put your
Put your damn feet down. I'm probably about to tell my age, but I don't know if y'all remember the old radio host Casey Case. But like, I, I don't care if you make fun of me or not, but still, Casey Case used to always say, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Try to apply that to the bench press, please. Problem number three. It goes back to what I said during problem number one and two. Keep your butt on the bench, fellas and ladies. It, it, please, this bouncing thing that you guys like to do, boom, 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 like that's no, that that's that's actually cheating. Now, and now, I, I will say this: in my sport, it, it's, it's cheating, and the lift may not count. But um, if you're if you're a bodybuilder and you bench press that weight, let, let me let me say this. If you're already, if, if you're already a big bencher, if you're already in great shape and you satisfied with the way you bench, then you don't have to listen to me. As a matter of fact, you can cut this video off right now. But if you're one of those people that really want to build a strong, solid, heavy bench press, then please, by all means, stop bouncing the weight off your chest. Just stop. And again, keep your butt on the ground this curve thing that you guys like to do is really not safe for it's not it's not good for you in the long run so again stop bouncing it's not basketball if it makes you feel any better gentlemen i was once one all three of the, the people that i mentioned Early in this video, I was the bouncer. I was the Mr. Got his ass in the air. I was Mr. Put your feet in the air because I saw a dude on YouTube doing it. So if it makes you feel any better, I, I'm I was once guilty of all these until I found the right coaching and I surrounded myself with the right people to help me build a bigger bench press because. If you look at me right now, you'll never believe that 315 was actually a struggle. Like, it was one of these things, like, y'all probably gonna laugh, but it was probably one of these things, like, 315 was kind of like, uh, I need a spot for one rep for 315. And just recently, this past June, I hit a PR of 429 pounds. So, from 2015 till now, I, I'd say that's, that's pretty impressive. That, that's pretty impressive for me. I don't know about anybody else. But anyway, I'm done rambling. If you found this video beneficial, again, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, reshare this video, and don't forget to hit that notification button so you'll know when I upload a new video.